Uh, I still can't believe they've they've made candy dispensers, pet dispensers, based off a toy, a pop figure, based off a based off a video game character. In which case, mine is a Mega Man pop figure Pez dispenser. <laughs> yeah, it, it's um, it's a green one. It's um, what suit is it? It's for his uh, gyro attack suit. Ah. Uh, Anyway, what's up, people of the world? It's me again, Alex Moore, aka AP3 Jumped, and welcome back to Super Mario Bros. XD Invasion 2. It's been a long time since I played this. It's been about over a month since, since I played this, but uh, I played this game before, so that's not really that big of a deal. I played this a, bu a bunch of times back in the day. So that's not a big deal in of itself for me to wait so long in between, in between sessions of playing this. So that that's because I've been playing other games in between, and uh, newsflash, I finally got a PlayStation 4 Pro of my own with Crash Bandicoot: The Insane Trilogy. So yes, that that is my big reveal. I'm finally revealing that on this channel. This boot's not gonna work <clears throat> work for this level. So uh, yeah, there's vegetables in here. You know, a giant onion, and I can stand on them. Apparently, I did. The guy could do that. So say yeah, a Crash Bandicoot, the insane children. Again, I've been dying. I've been wanting to play for two fucking years. Like not even joking. Ever since its announcement in E3 2016, I've yeah, I finally have it, and I've been having a fucking blast with it. Sure, I played demos in stores and whatnot, but actually being able to play the damn game. It's 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 a dream come true. I, I mean, and Crash is one of my favorite video game series of all time. <clears throat> it's the very first video game series I ever played, even before Mario, and it was my first favorite video game series. Crash Bandicoot 3 is my very first video game ever at age three, and uh, at that point I played the I played the games uh backwards, and that's how I played them all for the first time. Yeah. Like I rem I remember buying Crash One in the store for the very first time, and uh, just seeing it there on the shelf. And I, I believe was GameStop back in the day. I think I did buy it at a GameStop back then. I it must have been because, from what I remember, it sort of looked like one from from <laughs> and from from my memory. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure if GameStop was referred to as GameStop back in the day. I I don't know. But either way. I'm glad to finally be able to play the game there, even though man, those games are still hard as hell. Like they are. Uh, I've only haven't got haven't gotten to the others. I've only been playing Crash One at the time of this recording. So uh, and it seems these these uh, videos are being uploaded the same day as I record them too. Sort of. Well, this one at least I can't guarantee the next ones for the rest of this playthrough of this game, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, I've been having a blast. Oh yeah, aim ahead can be tough. Use the turnips to take him out as soon as possible. All right, this lack of two, I could just um, where are you, buddy? You know, there used to be a boss team that would play during that. I guess they fixed that. I should I really be picking all this shit up? I don't think I should. Oh, oh shit, I gotta kill that thing. By the way, who doesn't love this song? I love this song. And you know what else I would love to see? Crash Bandicoot and Smash Brothers. Yeah, we're not done talking about Crash, ladies and gentlemen. Because, yeah. Oh, that, sh that, that shell bouncing off the walls was almost in tempo with the music, so, yeah. Um... Dear God, I think I broke the space-time continuum with that stopwatch. I'm gonna still get hurt by- yeah, I'm still gonna get hurt by that shit. There's a hammer suit up here. We Ah, fuck! I killed myself with the hammer suit! <laughs> Fucking God damn it. <sighs> so anyway, Crash and Smash. Yeah, I mean it's in the it's in the fucking name. I have to do all this shit all over again. Uh, 
Oh, what the hell? It's not gonna take me that long to get back up there, provided I don't act die like an idiot. Oh. Uh. Um. Yes, yeah, so I've been wanting Crash Bandicoot and Smash since since uh, I don't know since Brawl. <laughs> And uh, he he was my pick for the Smash ballot. He's my overall number one uh uh dream character that I want in Smash. And uh, cause everyone has their dream character. Uh, Andre wanted a uh, K K Rule and, and and uh he got his wish of K Rule, but his other number one pick is Gino. Uh, um, relax, relax, my Joker from Persona Five, and he was right. Um, so that means I, I so far I'm the only person whose dream character hasn't made it in Smash. I mean, fuck. I mean, come on, Nintendo, make it happen. Cra Crash has had prevalence on Nintendo consoles before, and besides, Crash wouldn't be the only PlayStation character to be in Smash. I mean, we have fucking Cloud Strife and uh, Solid Snake to to a certain extent. Although he technically debuted on a home computer, which is odd, but okay, I guess. And yeah, I don't want to hit that top one, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to go through. Mario, quit. Duh. Quit rocking a fucking boner while you're trying to freeze people to death. It's what it literally looks like he's doing. Oh, excuse me. Fall. No, how did I still? God damn it, I'm an idiot. Watch this. And visibility frames for the win. I lost my fucking amber suit because I'm a jackass. Okay, this is this design is getting really tight. Speaking of tight, the Crash Bandicoot games are such tightly designed games. It's like yeah, they're, they're it's nuts exactly how tight the, the design of those games it actually is. Especially Crash 1, I mean, oh my god. <laughs> I'm dying a lot on certain stages, like, not just Slippery Climb too. so... Uh, and I'm I'm not looking forward to Stormy Ascent. <laughs> Good god. Ah! Oh, Birdo. I can... Wait, I can't kill you with the... Wait, I don't... I don't need to kill you. Yeah, this still has a secret exit. I could still. Okay, I thought I was about to fall for that. So I guess I'm doing the secret exit first. So I could still get the hammer suit, I guess. Oh, look, it's the first ghost house. We're not going there yet. We're going to do the Chez Luigi. Because, because, yeah, he's green, and we're in the green world, we're on a green stage, and, yeah. Yes. <laughs> ah, no. I, yeah, I can make it over. Yeah, I, I am no speedrunner. I am not a speedrunner. Uh. Although, the time trials in the Crash Bandicoot series do encourage that, I guess. Or, or, or rather, they make an actual in-game objective. Yeah. Yep. And, uh... You know, there's a little, another level just like this later on in this world. Um, with, with the same music, some more gimmicks, and uh, a lot more moving elements. Speaking of green, I just watched a uh, gameplay of Wario World, like like a full gameplay of, of like a of like the first actual level for the very first time. And uh, holy, <laughs> if you take a gander at Wario's voice, his voice was so high back then. I his voice was so high pitched. I don't. <laughs> that's so weird to me. Like. Wario had a high pitched voice from since his uh since his since the first game he had voice in Mario Kart 64 
and all the way up into the freaking GameCube era. Like, that's really shocking to me that he didn't gain his deep voice until, like, what, the Wii era, I guess? Because, yeah. <laughs> it's That's especially weird to me. Like, like I'm used to Wario having a deeper, a deep voice, not a almost high pitched of a voice as Waluigi has. And what's weird is that, uh, Waluigi used to have a really deep voice, which was, which was also very weird. I mean, I guess Charles Martinet was trying to figure out exactly how he wanted those char his characters to sound, I guess. He was still trying to figure that sort of thing out. And, you know, because, you know, voice actors, they, they, they do that. Like, and even uh, actors who, who, uh, do certain voices on, a uh, on live action TV shows like um the Two Broke Girls for example that's the, probably the best example I can give <laughs> and uh because there's a lot of characters because there's a lot of uh, characters who uh there's a lot of actors in that show who don't talk in their natural voices <laughs> and uh and like their earlier seasons all all the char all the foreign characters they they have much deeper voices compared to later seasons and sometimes the opposite can be be true with like a Charles Martinet's characters. And yeah, I'd never thought I'd be giving you a voice act you guys a voice acting lesson. The Lost Woods. Yes. This is a link level. Because this level's fun. It's partially mm, excuse me. I'm so rude. Ugh. Ugh. I let out that burp. And uh, the Loud House, too. And that's another fun example I can give off. Because, like, in the pilot episode, Lola and Lana sounded exactly the same. I, like, <laughs> it was nuts. I think this Lola has a Yoshi in it. I don't know. This I'm going to die in this level. Ugh. These bots are the fucking worst. They suck ass. They're fucking everywhere. Look, they look like a bunch of killer gumdrops is what they look like. The jelly blobs. Actually, they're bits and bots. Um, I forget which is which, but the blue but the blue ones are are one enemy and the red ones are a different one. I forget which ones are the bits and which ones are the bots, but uh Yeah. And what's interesting with Yoshi. If he eats certain color bots, he'll have the same abilities that he has when using colored shells. So that's cool. For example, for example, if he uh, eats a red bot, then he'll um, then he'll uh, shoot fire and uh, redigit. Yeah, don't do that. He put a Venus fire trap where you put a warp, and yeah, you're not supposed to do that if you know about SMBX design philosophy. Can I go back through here? Nope, I cannot. Anyways, this is a Zelda 2 inspired level. Alright, I know. I'm just waiting for that bot to approach me. Even I made a Zelda 2 level. And I did extensive research on like the designs of the of dungeons from this game. So yeah, even though I never really I never played a single Zelda game in my life. Aside from demos, I still do. I still did my uh, my research, and uh, I still thought I came out with a good good level. And, and uh, so yeah, I got ah fuck, I died. So what happens when you die in this? Do you have to restart the whole area? Ah. Oh no. Uh, you can jump on most of these, like you don't have to stab everything. What the hell? Y'all you, you, see that, right? Y'all see, y'all see what I'm seeing sticking out of the ground. Uh, wait. I need help. Uh, I tried doing an upward strength, but I couldn't do it. That uh, fuck. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. 
Raytheon Knight would do that shit whenever he would uh, uh open a key, open a keyhole. Yeah, <laughs> he would be goofy and do that shit as well. Oh fucking! Well, it didn't take that long to get here. Although I did kind of rush through this area. <laughs> I don't even know how long I've been playing. I've been playing since, what, 4 o'clock? I've been spent on... <laughs> I've been playing two levels for 20 minutes. That is bad. Yeah, the first key is back here. Would y'all fuck off? And here I am almost dying like an idiot. Alright. <sighs> y'all can... <sighs> You can't really predict these fucking things because they're assholes. I'm not gonna waste time trying to kill all, to break all these damn blocks. Okay, wait, okay. I love this remix. It's awesome. Oh wait, I didn't kill these bastards. Die. Have to do a perfect run. I'm not going in there. I, I know there's power ups in some of these things, but. And my Zelda level went pretty in depth. Like, it, I even had a uh, a map for myself to help me to help me figure out. I, I had a map for myself to help me uh, design certain sections, so. Uh. So yeah, I wouldn't lose track of what I'm designing in my Zelda level. Oh, you're gonna be difficult. Nope. Oh, you jackass. You just need to gain distance if you wanna. Good, now I can play comfortably. Oh, I was at the end. Here we have a sleeping Zelda. Yeah, which, funny enough, you actually see at the beginning of Zelda 2. Oh no, why my game's freezing? Is this the only area I have these torches? Oh, okay. I can go here, Star Warp. Well, most of these levels have two exits. I just now realized that. I just now remembered that shit. Uh, come on, game. What are you doing? Why are you being a dick? Uh, oh, boy. Some of these... These graphics up here. Game, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, this is going to make me lose viewers. And now we're just black. We're black screen. I swear my computer can't handle SMBX sometimes for whatever godforsaken reason. Good news is I can go in most of these doors. Uh yeah, don't un ugh. Yeah, I know I make a lot of weird fucking noises during my playthroughs. Oh, a heart container. I was in here. Oh, this is new. This time I have the power to stop time. I can't use it, though. Well, I can't store it, that is. Uh, this item never gets used. I don't... I see no one using this damn thing. Okay, I have two more worlds after this, and uh, let's go back to what Luigi or Mario. I'm not sure. Also, I love being able to play as Coco in um uh, the in the Insane Trilogy and the other games. Like, like she's a full character. She uh, plays identically to Crash, to my knowledge, and uh, so that makes her a, a much more versatile. Much more versatile than she was in Wrath of Cortex, because all she had, had was this stupid ass kick. Much like Don how Donkey Kong had this stupid ass kick for his dash attack, 
in the first three um, Smash Bros. games before they finally changed it to its actual uh, uh, barrel rolling attack from the Donkey Kong Country games. So, yeah. <laughs> Had to get up and cut on my lamp. Alright, let's do this. Give this shit a roll. Yeah. yeah, I might need this thing for this level. This stupid stopwatch. No! Oh! These bots, I'm not even paying attention. I'm being a jet. I'm being a dipshit. Okay, you know what? I hate this fucking shit. God damn! These bots are fucking relentless. My god. Fucking A. Yeah, I think I'll split this world into two parts, cause... Yeah, I need to do that. <laughs> ah, god damn it! I don't really get screwed like that very often. I'm so mad. These bots... And I try not to have too many of these fucking things in one a in one area in my Zelda level too, because I I quit a bunch of enemies from that game. What's my computer doing? Again, like I said, it can't handle us mix sometimes. At least not when I'm recording. When I'm now recording, it does just fucking just fucking fine and dandy. Although I'm still somehow able to fuck. I would use the stopwatch. But I need to get that power from that shell. Then I can use the stopwatch. Because when I try to kick a shell when time's frozen, it's not going to fucking move. It's not going to move. <sighs> Why didn't I just grab those powers from the boat, from um, the Star Road or whatever? I... <sighs> fucking god damn it. Fucking Jesus! Remember what I said about tight pot... Tight, tightly designed games like Crash. Yeah, this is one of those fucking levels, I guess. Although this is more based on randomness because these bots want to kick, kick my ass. Yeah. <sighs> I'm just talking about all sorts of stuff today. A lot more interesting topics than I would have thought to talk about because I didn't plan on talking about voice acting. I uh, instead uh, talk about fucking. Crap, mother of fucking Jesus! What the hell? Oh my god, this is like fucking slippery climb all over again. Motherfucker. You know, Stormy. Stormy Run. <laughs> Stormy Ascent is like a. <clears throat> the perfect run slash uh, special light crown slash champions road slash darker side of the Crash Bandicoot series. It's absolute hardest level from those games. Is uh, fucking okay. I have not Yeah, I have a new strat. Uh, okay, no, I don't. Have it. Yeah, my new strat is to fucking get killed. Oh, at least I'm providing actually interesting commentary for once. <laughs> oh. Uh... Ah, fuck me. Uh, uh, oh, can I not die like an Oh my god. I need that. Why do you have to put so many of these things here, Redigit? Why you have to be such an ass? I'm serious. Why did I hit that? Why there's so many of these goddamn things here? There's, they're fucking everywhere, man. They completely oversaturated the population of this fucking level because Jesus Christ. All the standard Mario enemies are less to deal with than this fucking horse shit because now how do you, now how do you expect me to get up there normally without <sighs> Oh yeah you can grab motherfucking god
Seriously. Yeah. Yes, I'm getting this stupid stopwatch as well. <sighs> Alright, now I can maybe get through this level without dying like a fucking idiot, please. The shift key is right above the fucking directional pa air pad. Right above the goddamn arrow keys. Right above the up arrow key. Oh no, don't freeze on me now. Oh my fucking god, man! Watch, I'm gonna die a lot in this fucking level. It's like I'm not very well equipped for this shit. I don't get it. Why do I have to be such a dipshit and not do this? Fucking God. I motherfuck. <laughs> well, that stunted my voice for several more days. Fucking God, man. Hey, please. I don't need to spend a fucking hour on this shit. What the fuck? <sighs> Enjoying this commentary, are you? Good, because you're better, <laughs> you're better after what I'm dealing with today. <sighs> Why did you have to put so many of these son of a fox in this level? Maybe if I was the Ouija, I'd be able to get through this easier. I don't know. I don't want to play the Ouija right now. Yeah, these guys are really, they, they, they're they really the star show in this fucking level. No, so I haven't gotten killed by a single Mario enemy. At least I don't think I have. Oh, why? What is the fucking deal with these fucking things? I'm not about to spend a fucking hour on this shit. Jeez. Oh my fucking god, man, come on! What's the fucking deal? What is the fucking deal? I swear. And I thought person to up up key would have make me enter the level, but I guess not. I wish I could just fly over fucking everything. I 
Yeah. I couldn't. Why? Oh, fuck me. Oh, you fell through? Oh, sorry, not sorry. Right here's where I fucking died, and now I get a Yoshi! I couldn't have gotten that shit earlier. Man, fuck this level. We'll see how the Yoshi's... We'll see how the... The bots and bits influence Yoshi's powers. So yeah, that's really cool. I fucking hate these fucking fucks. I don't need that shit. Oh no. You spawn everywhere. Look at all this bullshit. <clears throat> and I gotta fight fucking Birdo too. What the fuck? Not today. Fuck that shit, no. Yoshi still has his fucking mouthful. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is a fun level. Underground battle arena. But we're not doing that yet. Yeah, this world's gonna take forever. Do not enter. Yeah, the first and uh, only ghost house in the game, actually. There's not more than this. This level's weird. It's got a lot of bullshit in it, like a uh, ghost houses should. How did I jump over that? Uh. And yeah, they didn't bother to change the Ouija sprite for this shit. Which they really should have. Why did I fucking get hit by that? I'm gonna kill this big boo. This is the level that I discovered you could kill these things. Yeah, that. I have to go back. I'm gonna kill these shits, cause... Yeah, these shits don't deserve to not live. Cause they're fucking dead already. They're fucking ghosts. I'm Luigi, I can jump over anything. That's probably where the secret No, it's not where the secret exit lies, it's where the fucking regular exit lies. Did y'all see how close it was to getting hit? Did y'all fucking see? I'm very irritable right now, and I apologize. That last level got me on edge. I don't remember how you can do the secret exit. Or maybe I do, I don't know. I just gotta look very carefully. Yeah, you gotta go up here. Okay, this ghost house isn't that complicated in terms of design, actually. Ah. No error signs for us, because it's a ghost house, so you have to figure that shit all by your damn self. Oh, yeah, you can get gay baby jail in this level, too. Yeah, gay baby jail was a thing Redigit liked doing in this game whenever he fucking felt like it, and I don't fucking like that shit. And now look at me, I'm gonna fucking die when make no progress. Those ghost houses don't have fucking checkpoints. Cause they're not supposed to. I 
Oh wait, I do wish these boosts had full turn turnaround animations. Looks like they really should. I'm literally doing fucking nothing. What? Now what the fuck am I doing? Okay. Yeah. Just trying to concentrate. Only Luigi can make jumps like this. You watch. Oi. That takes good platforming skill. Jesus, this is boring. Fuck me, this is boring for a ghost house. Why did I get hit by that? Well, now we're done. But also, this is also one of the only levels to have a Super Mario World uh, level exit. Ah, hell. I can see this video is going to be too damn long. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay. I, I still gotta finish this level though. Like the other half of it. And I came with no power ups like a fucking genius. And the game, why? Game, what the hell? It'd be cool if this ghost house was actually foggy, but you need Luna Luna in order to do that shit. And, uh. I mean, I have it, but still. Huh. Look what he did there in the right there. <sighs> yeah, this all's too damn long. And we're doing the same old jig as Luigi, cause yeah, I like playing ghost houses as Luigi, cause yeah no. Almost got hit by that. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, baby jail. Okay, baby jail. What the fuck was the point of that? You could still get 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 get. You'd still get gay baby jail. Gay baby jail. God damn it, redigit. Fuck. Oh whatever, I've done. I'm sorry. I just don't have time. Oh, fuck, I can't type it. Is this the secret exit? No, it's the same goddamn exit. Uh, hold on, I'm going to see if I want to end the video off or not. Alright, so I guess there's... Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess there's only one exit. <laughs> Alright, uh, if you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned uh, for the next part when we uh, tackle... There we are. This level, the Underground Battle Arena. Anyways... I'm Alex Swimmer, aka ep 3 Jumped. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That is it for me, and I will I will see you soon. Goodbye. 47, you just lost the game. Uh, like that's relevant anymore. Yeah, I still put it in my random videos as an Easter egg. Gotta keep with keep gotta keep up with tradition.